a bit of COVID and theology? Or should I get vaccinated? Welcome to another installment in the Over My Shoulder Bible Study series. These brief video Bible studies typically serve to supplement the sermon that I preach each Sunday here with Missouri Street Church of Christ in Baytown, Texas. This particular episode, though, doesn't so much supplement the sermon so much as it undergirds all of sermons that are lived by Christians, I hope. Let me show you what I mean. Everything that we do as Christians, we seek to see through the lens of Scripture. That is, we, we want our spirit to be open to what the Holy Spirit would lead and direct and guide us to do and be. The question arises, how do Christians respond to COVID? Particularly, should Christians be vaccinated? Is there anything in Scripture that speaks to this? Has the Holy Spirit revealed things for the benefit of my spirit that may help me in making such a judgment whether to receive the vaccine or not? Let's open some words from the Apostle Paul. Romans chapter 12. Romans 12 speaks about our life becoming a living sacrifice and being transformed in the renewal of our mind. And then moving from that, immediately Paul goes to the thought of service to the body of Christ. That is what your transformation leads to you to do for the benefit of others. Paul goes immediately from that thought into not thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought, but instead thinking of ourself with sober judgment. Everything we do in terms of actions toward others, in this context, particularly other believers, should be influenced by this, this very thought, this foundational thought. We seek to be transformed more into the likeness of God and then to live that out in the way that we relate to other people. In a word, we love. We want our love to be sincere. And that sincerity shows in the way that we're devoted to one another and honor others above ourselves. Another segment from Paul. This is a passage that's probably very well known to you. 1 Corinthians 13. It's known as the love chapter. Without trying to give you the context, suffice it to say that Paul is yet once more talking about how Christians relate to each other, how the body takes good care of itself. And as he does so, he says it all revolves around love, love that is patient and kind. It doesn't envy and it doesn't boast and it's not proud. And it doesn't dishonor others, nor is it self-seeking. In another letter, one of Paul's earliest letters, Galatians, toward the end of that book, he writes these words in Galatians 6. Again, he's talking about relationships with brothers and sisters, and he says, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. One more passage, one last passage. Philippians, Philippians chapter 2 a favorite book of many Christians, and a wonderful chapter. Paul talks about how that we need to be like Christ in terms of humility, in the way that we relate to other people. And as we do that, we value others above ourselves, and we do not look to our own interests, but instead our priority is the interests of others. This is directly related to having the mindset of Jesus Christ, who, you could say, descended to the point of taking on the very nature of a servant, which is what it means to be truly human. Now, I note all of these texts to simply say this. As a Christian, I'm called to value others above myself. I place my own interests below those of others. I seek to be a servant. I'm called to give my life for the blessing of other people. And how I relate to other people is commentary on what sort of mind is being developed in me and what sort of transformative work 
is going on within me. Who I really am in terms of transformation into the image of Christ will of necessity show in the way that I treat the body of Christ, that is, God's people, his church, and others. Now, that bit about COVID and the vaccine. I personally have chosen to receive the vaccination, as has my wife. And these are reasons that undergird my own choice. I see my ability to receive a vaccine as a way of actively serving others. I know there are others with burdens who are vulnerable that need my strength. And by receiving a COVID vaccination shot, I help them with their burdens. I bless those who are vulnerable. I become a servant to them, where I may be scratching my head in so many ways as to how I can be an active blessing to them. I can wear a mask and I can receive a vaccine and I can practice some social distancing. And this may not only save lives, but it may save many lives. None of us know when we may have COVID and be asymptomatic. None of us know how vulnerable, just how vulnerable somebody else is. They may be far more vulnerable in terms of an immune system than I am. And if I, being one who is strong, you might say, can help watch out for those who are weaker, then I can know in that moment that I'm imitating Jesus Christ. I hope no one construes or hears this message as being heavy-handed or using this message as something like a bully pulpit to go get the COVID vaccination shot. It is rather a simple attempt to explain what undergirds my personal choice to receive the vaccine based on the lens through which I see, try to see all of life, and that is scripture. Think on these things. How can you actively bless others? What will you do to help carry other people's burdens? And is receiving the vaccination shot a way you can do that? Grace and peace to us all.